What up, everybody? It's Instructor Beats back again. This time talking about the shortcut for multiplying fractions, which goes with our song, Multiplying Fractions. If you want to look at conceptually why this works today, check out our other videos. We have two multiplying whole numbers and fractions using area models and multiplying fractions and fractions using area models. Today we're going to focus on the shortcut. So today I will be able to multiply fractions using the shortcut. Here are your steps for multiplying fractions. So first of all, you want to turn any factor into a fraction. So if it's a whole number, turn it into a fraction. If it's a mixed number, turn it into an improper fraction. If it's a fraction, don't change it. You want to multiply across. And then as always, you want to simplify if you can. So for instance, I have 6 times 2 fifths. Well, step 1 says turn everything into a fraction. So I turn 6 holes into a fraction by putting a 1 underneath. Step 2 says I multiply across. So I multiply my numerators, which is 12. I multiply my denominator, which is 1 times 5, which is 5. My answer is going to be 12 fifths. Or you can write that as a mixed number, which would be 2 and 2 fifths. And you can't simplify that, so you're done. That's a shortcut. That easy. So let's go ahead and check this one out. You pause it, and then you can do it. Um, and then push play and we'll solve it together. So step one says both of these are already fractions. I don't need to do anything to them. Step two says I multiply across. So one times two is two, not one. That'd be silly. Three times five is 15. So I know that two fifths equals T. And that's all you have to do. It's that simple. You just multiply across. So let's check out this one right now. Uh, check out another one. So go ahead and pause the video. Try one more. And then push play and we'll solve it. So this one says 6 tenths of 2 thirds. So finding a fraction of a fraction really means that I am multiplying. So if you're finding a fraction of a fraction, that just means that you're multiplying. So 6 times 2 equals 12. 10 times 3 equals 30. Both of these are even numbers, so I know I can simplify them. So I'm going to divide by 6, which is going to give me 2 fifths. Sorry, I had to think about that for a second. And so my simplified form is 2 fifths. It's that simple. Turn everything into a fraction, multiply across, simplify when you can. As always, check us out at Instructed Beats Official on YouTube. Uh, you can follow us on Instagram at, at Instructed Beats. You can send us any emails at instructedbeats at gmail.com. Please check out our multiplying fractions, our simple or silly simple song and check out our other videos uh, we love to have you check them out and subscribe instructor beats out